You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, your worthy love, thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, merciness, and love, O Sacred Heart, our Lord. May all hearts be united to your sacred heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, or living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us. We often close our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthy love and magnify your sacred hearts. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise for you are holy 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 lord you are indeed the fountain of all goodness we thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you our adorable hearts we rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your name and grace let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church to especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially Archbishop Drown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, neurological problems, neuromuscular problems, and any other problems. 
form of addiction. We pray for grieving families. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intention for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, with all your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. So that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with the Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, we pray that you bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will, and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with bonus the mystery of the gospel. Lord, have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few, we pray, according to your will. That you send out workers into your harvest field. That upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace. As you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon your servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord have mercy. Lord God, heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty, make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival, many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, Sir, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Let us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving 
honoring and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the perfection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects in my life, and uh, my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all for my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I am so glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope that you will be able to join us later on today when we do um, afternoon and then evening prayer. And that you will be able to join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day, three times a day, God willing and technology allowing. If you like to submit a prayer request, come by our website at sacredheartjesus.org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. Also, at the same website, you can get some additional information about our ministry by filling out the form on the homepage. Uh, when you fill out that form, I'll send you the information. Plus, I'll include a copy of the daily prayers for the order of the sacred Heart of Jesus handbook so that you can follow along next time you do the prayers and so that you can take it with you wherever you go and be able to do the prayers even if you don't have a connection to the internet uh, or any electronic means of connecting. Also, I'd like to invite you to go to Google Play and type Sacred Heart of Jesus Chapel and that will bring up the application for or ministry and that application also includes an electronic copy of the daily prayers for the order of the sacred hearts of Jesus handbook that you can use out of that you also get you can get connected to our radio broadcasts uh, that we do on a on a daily basis on a, a regular basis and uh, you can go to some of the other um, resources that we have available for people like you who desire to stay connected to the Lord through our application. So I encourage you and invite you to download the application. Again, go to Google Play, type in Sacred Hearts of Jesus Chapel. That should bring up our application. The icon is the icon of a, of a sacred heart. And uh, just install it. We just did an update, as a matter of fact, uh, over the weekend. Or not over the weekend, over the last couple of days. It is the weekend. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the morning. And I'll see you later.